Okay, so here we are on the last car boot sale of the year, and as you can see, there's hardly anybody here, but I'm gonna go and have a look, because you never know. Okay, so it's a really horrible, wet, rainy day here today. There's only a few vehicles. Um, this guy here is um, Tool Time, one of my favorite stalls. I've just asked him to get out of his van and give me a few bits and pieces, so I have got something. So let's go home and take a look at what I've got. Okay then, guys, so here I am uh, back home um, after a visit to my mother's. Um, and uh, this is what I got from the flea market or car boot sale this morning. Um, I have to say, I was expecting to be really really disappointed because as you've seen there was like next to nobody there there was uh, no people sh nobody shopping no people selling stuff very much but fortunately I happened to recognize um, one of my favorite um, tool stalls there uh, the guy was sat on his set in his van with the engine running trying to keep warm so I went up and had a word with him and I asked him if uh, if he wouldn't mind if I had a look through the back of his van at the tools he had so he jumped out of his van opened the side door and he said, all this stuff you see here is all the fresh stuff I've got. So if you want to have a look through that lot, please feel free. So I did. We, we, um, you know, he helped me take the boxes out and I went through them. And I came up with this lot here. Uh, so I was quite pleased with this. This lot uh, in total cost me £6. Okay. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll start with uh, this little fellow right here. As I'm sure most of you will know by now, I am on a never-ending quest to find... Uh, a six inch uh, pipe wrench, Stilson's style pipe wrench. Uh, this one here I thought, oh goody, it says 200 millimeters here and eight inches over here. So it is in theory an eight inch um, wrench. Um, again, it's another one of these little fellas that measures in at just over seven inches in length as you can see there. So uh, not quite six inches, but we're getting there. Um, this one is completely unbranded as far as I can see. It just says, uh, drop forged on the handle here. It's been nicely painted red and I think there's either been some blue or black going on here. It's probably red and black actually. Um, it runs quite nicely as you can see there. It's not a bad little wrench actually but it's another one to my collection. Uh, one of these days I will find a six inch pipe wrench like this. I don't see many of these at the boot sale. These alligator wrenches. Uh, how old this one is I really don't know. Um, the other one I have is this particular one here and was very kindly supplied to me by my friend here. So thank you very much for that one. Now what we have here is again this is a bit of a cheap um, probably drop forging. You can see there's lots of forging or cast casting marks here and even in the head here as well. Uh, got a lanyard hole at the back here something to hang it up with. Um, how old it is, as I say, I don't know, and it looks like it's been painted at some point or another. Look after it. But yeah, my uh, the first alligator wrench that I've actually managed to find at my local flea market or boot sale. I was pretty pleased to see this little fellow kicking about in the bottom of one of the boxes, because I've been after one of these for some time now. A little twisted together here. A really interesting little handle on an adjustable spanner, as you can see. It does feel actually quite comfortable. Um, this one's going to need a little bit of work on it because it's more or less sea solid. It's not going anywhere at all really, so that's going to need a little bit of work doing on it. You can't take these things apart, so it'll be a, an interesting little project. Probably be some WD-40 or whatever, uh, plus gas in there. But yeah, what an interesting little um, little wrench. Uh, it's had a little bit of use over the years because you can see it's uh, sort of wider here than it is just here. It's most likely been used as a hammer as well, judging by the uh, amount of burring going on just there. Don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, yeah, that's quite nice. Been looking for those for some time now. These two are my star buys or pick of the day, shall we say? These little fellows right here, I like these two. Um, let's take a look at this little fellow first, shall we? A very interesting vintage wrench here. It's one of these sort of the curvy hands on it, handles on it. Um, it does actually happen to have a little bit of a mark here. Don't know what that's all about just yet. Um, not bad shape either. Um, you can see it runs fairly nicely. It's a little bit stiff, but it does actually run. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, prehistoric bird styly for the head there. So look at the other side of it. It's in quite good nick. Um, 
most probably I would think from the uh, maybe from the late 1800s sometime I would think it's quite nicely made quite like that one as I say it's one of my star buys for today quite a hefty old thing how long is it let's have a look how long it is um, we're looking at round about 10 inches here as you can see so it's 10 inches long um, I, quite, I quite like the way the uh, head's been um, machined as you can see it's quite interesting it's got quite um, thin little knurly bits on the uh, drum here it's very stiff actually so there we go you've got to give it a shove so it's obviously greasy and filthy and horrible in there but it does actually work and it's quite a nice little uh, thing it's not had too much of a hard life I don't think there's a few bash marks underneath here but other than that what a really nice um, old vintage wrench yes like that I've been looking out for these for some time now I'm getting quite a collection of these uh, these older wrenches now and I would say all of these date from the uh, mid to late 1800s however old this thing is I don't know but it's quite old same here with this one so yeah I'm getting quite a collection of these old things now and speaking of collections as you can see I'm getting quite a collection of um, old footprint wrenches, the old footy got quite a few on this one that's going to need a bit of a clean up at some point or another but I'm getting quite, quite a collection of the originals and copies and clones too uh, these two are Eastern European as is I believe this one um, I don't know where these three come from because they're not marked at all but uh, yeah so I'm getting quite a collection of copies too which brings me to the second um, pick of the day this very interesting little fellow here um, I saw it in one of the boxes I picked it out and took a look at it and chucked it back in the box again because I thought I don't really need any more copies um, so we put the boxes down and then I thought to myself afterwards when I um, got the other tools um, I thought to myself yes I do want that other um, footprint wrench copy actually so poor guy had to dig all the boxes out again <laughs> and I had to go through them all again and it was right in the bottom and here it is um, but it wasn't until I got it home uh, I found out uh, or at least I, I think I think this is a, a handmade one a homemade one made probably made um, as a school project back in the day by somebody um, the fit and finish on this thing is actually quite nice look at that uh, you can't see the rivets that hold the uh, little extra jaw piece in. You can't see the rivets on that. Um, also, the um, the teeth on the jaws are irregular. They're not all the same. And as I say, it's a very, very nice tight fit. Got an unusual little uh, nicely knurled pivot pin there. And the holes are not aligned properly either. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm not going to speak too much about this now because I want to do a specific video on this little fellow all by itself but yes very nice find that okay then so I thought I was going to come away from that uh, rather disappointing sale with absolutely no tools whatsoever but luckily my favorite tool stall was there um, he was very kind enough to let me uh, rummage through uh, the boxes in the back of his van because he hadn't set the stall up because the weather was just awful and there was hardly any buyers there at all but it was very very kind of him to get out of his van in the cold and the wet to let me take a look through the boxes of stuff he had and I, um, thank you very much because I've come away with some really interesting kit here I like this uh, these two here are my uh, star buys or pick of the days I finally actually found myself a uh, an alligator wrench um, at the car boot sale here hello this is a bit cheapy I just found there's a nice sharp chunk just there <laughs> okay then and I've been looking for one of these twisty handled wrenches uh, for quite some time now, several several months actually. But as I say, my uh, search for a six-inch pipe wrench continues. Uh, this is again is another eight-inch, so that means I've got uh, three of these little fellas, I believe now. This one's unbranded. Um, the other two are branded. But um, yeah, what an interesting collection of tools from an otherwise disappointing uh, flea market. Uh, don't forget to look out for. Um, I should be doing a specific video on this little fellow fairly shortly I think uh, very interesting I'm glad I picked it up I wasn't going to get this one but I'm glad I did now actually guys so I was able to come away with some uh, rather nice tools today as I say this whole collection cost me six pounds 
brilliant. Um, one of my favourite tool stalls. It wasn't set up, but he was kind enough to let me have a rummage through the back of his van. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at these because they're the last tools I think that I will be able to get this year from the flea market because it won't be back until late January next year, 2020. So um, you basically come Christmas I've got quite a bit of time off of Christmas so I'll be able to do uh, quite a few tool renovations for you and other reviews. I've got quite a lot of work on guys so um, hopefully as I say I've got the best part of two weeks off over Christmas so I should be able to bring you quite a few tool renovations um, possibly might be able to bring you something next weekend I don't know I'll have to have a look see what I've got I've got quite a few bits to review uh, including some uh, a nice little uh, ratchet wrench which I bought brand spanking new from Banggood but yeah I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these um, very interesting old tools here um, I was very pleased to come away with at least something from the sale today so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed popping over to Rathbone Manor. Um, I do hope you'll pop by again in the very near future. And uh, yes, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.